All right, so we're not going to waste any time. I'm going to show you guys exactly how to set up FL Studio to record vocals. And the first thing you're going to have to do is go to your audio settings. And you're going to select your input. For me, it's going to be my Focusrite USB ASIO. This is going to be different for you, but just select whatever input you're using. If you're using a gaming headset, you're going to have to select that headset. And you're going to have to mess with your buffer length, which is going to be the latency from your voice actually being said to when you hear it played back to you in FL Studio. And if you have a better computer, you're going to be able to get this very low. Like my buffer size is at 64, which is pretty low. And my computer can handle that. And most computers can, as long as you don't have too many plugins. The next thing you're going to need is a beat. So I'm just going to grab a beat that I have and I'm just going to drag it over the track header like this and then we're going to click audio clips and this is just going to name the track to your beat but that's going to change in a second because we're right clicking go to track mode audio track and make it insert one and then we're going to go to our mixer go to insert one f2 and just name this beat so now you have your beat in your playlist automatically linked over to mixer track number one and then to set up our recording track we're going to right click this plus button right here and that's going to auto link this playlist insert right here to mixer number two and we're just going to rename this record and let's just make it red and then we're going to go to insert number three and we're going to call this lead vocal and then on your record track you're going to want to put on your auto tune or whatever you need to record i use auto tune so i'm just going to set this to use low latency boom and then a sharp minor is the key of my beat so we're going to put that to a sharp minor and i also have to change the bpm which is 146 so we're going to do that and when you drag an MP3 into FL Studio, you're usually going to have to bring this trim knob up to get rid of that silence in the beginning. But now we have to set up our lead vocal effects, which is going to be our EQ, compression, and stuff like that. I have a bunch of videos on my channel going over how to actually mix vocals. This isn't that. But in order to save some time for this video, I'm just going to load up my new stock preset, which is available in the description below. But as you can see, now we have a vocal effect track with everything mixed, and then we have our record track. So what you're going to do is while you're clicked on the record track, is just go to this button right here and control click it which is gonna route this record track into the mixed vocals. So now when you record on this track, it's gonna route into the mixed vocals. So you can have a record track and a separate mix track, but it'll be routed into the mix track so it actually sounds good. So let me show you guys what this actually sounds like. The so first thing, you're gonna to have to go back into your playlist and select your input. Mine's gonna be input number one. Make sure you select the mono version. And then this button right here, you're just gonna to wanna to copy these settings. Pretty much always record with external input only. This will make sure you don't record with effects on, but instead it'll record your dry vocals. And then I keep this at when armed. So as soon as I arm the vocal, we'll be able to hear ourselves. So now we're set to record, but I do want a little bit of reverb. So I made a track and just put free reverb on it. And what we're going to do is just shift click this button down here on our vocal mix track. And then bring this knob up to add in some reverb. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So now we have some reverb. So now we can record. So let me turn that reverb off. You're going to want to right click your record button and just copy all these settings right here. This will just make it so it's super easy for you to record. So let me show you what you got to do now. So just go to wherever you want to record. Make sure you're armed to record. Turn the reverb back on. And now all you got to do is click R. Yeah, yeah. I made money when I pass out. I made money just to cash out. I made money when I pass out. But now you're hearing me through my normal mic. And as you can see, since this is routed to mixer track number two, it automatically routed it there. And then this record track is automatically going into your mixed vocals. So all you got to do is play it back. Yeah, yeah. I made money when I pass out. I made money just to cash out. I made money when I pass out. Yeah. And if you want to record again, just rearm it. Click, Click R. R. And as you can see, it automatically makes a new track and groups it with the above track. And now if you wanted to do doubles or like a second take, you could just right click this record track and click clone. And we're just going to take off the grouped effects and automation clips and audio clips and patterns, all this stuff. And then you have record number two. And then I want to drag this over just for organization. So I'm going to click alt and left arrow, drag it over to record number two. But before we do anything, we got to make sure we route it into the mixed vocals. So we're going to control click this button again. Boom. And then arm it. Yep. 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 And we're all set. We could do, do some, some cool doubles, doubles right here or something. something. Yeah, yeah. I made money when I pass out. I made money just to cash out. Yeah. I made money when I pass out. Yeah, I made money all the time. I made money all the time. Then we can unarm this. Now, obviously, you would go through your song and actually make these takes a lot better and record over and over again. But this is just a basic idea on how to do it. So let me play this for you guys. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I made money when I pass out. I made money just to cash out. 
So yeah, that is how you set up FL Studio to record vocals in the most simple way. I hope this helped. If it did, make sure you guys click the like button. And if you guys need any crazy artist presets, make sure to check the description below at QuintedBaba.com. I have presets for pretty much any artist. But I'll see you guys in the next video. Deuces.